morning, we're looking here at the weekly FTSE chart. Uh, as you can see, last week we broke above our little trend line that we had here and we went to highs of 75.28. If you scroll across here to October last year, you can see the high is 75.26. So there were reasons why that market stopped up around those higher levels. Now, I think that this is quite a bearish little pattern. You've got higher highs and higher lows. So we're trading currently around 74.42, but obviously we need the cash session to open. I think that we come down to this area, which is 73.79, a break below 73.95 will confirm. But also look, I think we can come down to here, which is the 55 and the nine week period moving average. And they're coming in at 73.03 and 72.99. The weekly pivot is at 74.51. We are below there. So what I say we do is that we sell any level up to this 74.51 area bearing in mind that we've got now good resistance at 74, 42, 44, 46. But this 74.51, I think, is going to prove at like a swing level for this week. This level will apply all week. If you look up here where our trend line will come in, it's coming in just around 75.05. So we can sell or add to shorts up at these higher levels and put our stop above last week's high of 75.28. Now obviously you need to give it a bit of room because stops will come out if we get up to those higher levels. If I look across here and you look at September's, this September high, that's coming in at 75.52. So, you know, if we do break 28, we've got the 52 resistance up at these higher levels here. So the 51, the 50% 50 Fib is coming in at 72.17. As you can see, that's below both of these longer term moving averages. With this pattern, as I said, it is a bearish pattern but only as long as we stay below this area here. If you want to be doubly sure of being in the right place at the right time, 73.95 breaking will put sellers back on track and the 61.8 Fib is at 73.79. If that breaks, which I can't see any reason why it wouldn't, you are short. You're going short for another 60, 70 points move lower on the downside. Now, if we take a look at the stochastics, you can see here as we made a new yearly high, this didn't reflect it. So we've got divergence. We've got divergence on the RSI. The ROC is still pointing up still above the zero line but we're not pointing higher okay so that's another thing to keep your little eyes on all in all i don't think footsie's in for quite a in for a good week but we'll have a look quickly at the daily so this is basically what we did last week we made that new high and we spent the rest of the week coming lower we held onto the 21 day moving average and that's coming in today at 7406 so we we do have support up here down here the market has quite a bit of support but it also has a rake of resistance up here which is in your 7485 area on the daily still i'm looking at that weekly pivot and the nine-day
day moving average is coming in at around those levels at 74.59. So it is a case, I think, of selling into strength. You can see the divergence on FTSE. It was so clear on the daily charts, which is why we sold it last week and covered a good profit. Anyway, good luck, and I'm on the desk all day. I'll catch you later.